Introducing the Switch's buff cousin, the Lenovo Legion Go. Hey guys, this is Manish from Digit and we've got something special for you today. We're diving into Lenovo's latest handheld gaming PC, the Lenovo Legion Go. The expected launch price of the Lenovo Legion Go is Rs 89,990 and it comes packed with features that set it apart from the likes of the Nintendo Switch, Valve Steam Deck and the Asus ROG Ally. But is it worth the price? Well, that's what we're here to find out. So let's get started. There have been quite a few gaming handles that have launched since the Nintendo Switch. Yet, None of them could replicate one of the Switch's coolest features until now, removable controllers. Of course, that's not all the Lenovo Legion Go has up its sleeve. The Lenovo Legion Go is massive, there's no sugarcoating it. It's bigger than both the Steam Deck and the Asus ROG Ally. If you're someone who's used the Nintendo Switch in the past, this is gonna feel a lot bigger in your hands. That's what she said! <laughs> Of course, the larger size does come with a few benefits. For starters, you got a large 8.8 inch screen, the largest of any of the popular handles in the market right now. You also get two USB-C ports, again, more than any of its competition. Of course, this also means that it is heavier, weighing in at a little under a kilo at 854 grams to be exact, with the controllers attached. The controllers detach switch style, but reattaching them can be a bit tricky at first. You'll get the hang of it, but it's not as seamless as the Switch's Joy-Cons, not as satisfying. One of the neat things about the Legion Go's detachable controller is the fact that the right-hand controller doubles as a mouse. Lenovo calls this FPS mode, which is activated via a switch under the right controller. Once on, you can dock the right controller into a puck that comes along with the Legion Go and effectively use it as a mouse. However, while it seems like a great idea in theory, the experience and execution isn't all that great. We wouldn't actually recommend using this to play any competitive FPS titles, but it does work out for some casual games. The Lenovo Legion Go boasts a gorgeous 8.8-inch 2560X1600 IPS display with a refresh rate of 144Hz. It's the biggest and most vibrant screen we've seen on a handheld gaming PC so far. However, most games won't be able to run at that higher resolution, so you'll often find yourself dialing it down to 1280x800 for a smoother experience. The display really shines with vivid colors and great brightness, but the higher resolution is more useful for streaming video than gaming. Under the hood, the Legion Go uses the AMD Z1 Extreme chip, the same as the top-end ROG Ally. Performance is solid, especially when plugged in. Unfortunately, better performance while plugged in is a bit of a moot point for a portable gaming machine like this. This is all a moot point. While the device was plugged in, intensive titles like Cyberpunk 2077, Metro Exodus and Shadow of the Tomb Raider consistently gave us around 30 FPS at 1920 into 1200 resolution. However, we had to lower the resolution to 1280 into 800 to replicate the same FPS numbers with the device unplugged. Genshin Impact gave us consistent 60 FPS at low medium settings in both scenarios. On the plus side, games like Hades seem to be built for devices like this. We easily got 144 FPS at 1920 into 1200 resolution even while unplugged, fully utilizing the high refresh rate on the Legion Go's display. That said, 1280 into 800 seems to be the sweet spot for gaming, especially if you're playing on the go. See what we did there? To not only have the smoothest possible gaming experience, but also to preserve battery life. The Lenovo Legion Go runs on Windows 11, like the Asus ROG Ally. This means that it will support almost every game out there. But Windows isn't exactly the best when it comes to handheld gaming. The touch controls can be finicky, which makes navigating Windows a pain, something that even ROG Ally users can confirm. Most launches are impossible to navigate with the controller. With Steam, you have Big Picture Mode, which makes navigation a breeze, but no other launchers have such a feature. To somewhat circumvent this, the Lenovo Legion Go comes with the Lenovo Legion Space software to help manage games and settings in a handheld-friendly UI. Most important settings and game libraries can conveniently be accessed here. While it's a nice touch, it feels a bit tacked on and sometimes doesn't play well with Windows 11. You could still potentially get away with only using Lenovo Legion Space once it's set up, but the usual Windows stuff will still pop up every now and then. Let me start off by saying that we only use the 1920-1200 and below resolutions for testing battery life while gaming. Most games won't run at the display's native 2560-1600 resolution anyway, and assume that that will kill your battery way faster anyway. 
Starting off with more intensive titles like Cyberpunk 2077, the Legion Go lasts roughly 1 hour 20 minutes on medium settings and at 1280 x 800 resolution. Less intensive titles like Hades, on the other hand, will last you around 1 hour 30 minutes at 1918 x 1200 resolution with a consistent 144 FPS. Dropping the resolution and FPS will further improve battery life for such games, easily going north of 2 hours. Such games are, in my opinion, ideal for handheld gaming devices like the Legion Go. I do have one major gripe with the Legion Go and that's the fact that there is no LED to indicate charging progress while the system is off or asleep. We found ourselves unplugging and replugging just to see what the battery percentage was at. Not a very big deal but annoying nonetheless. So is the Lenovo Legion Go worth it? If you value features like a large 8.8 inch screen, detachable controllers and extra ports for connectivity, this could be the handheld gaming device for you. However, its bulk and higher price compared to the Steam Deck and ROG Ally might be a turnoff for those who prioritize portability. That was our review of the Lenovo Legion Go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more such tech and gaming reviews. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Lenovo Legion Go and which handheld gaming device you're thinking of picking up.